Okay, my friends, as I said, these coincidences are just staggering. I just finished up a video discussing the relationship between Mars and Venus's impact on Mars, destroying and killing all the life. And here they are with the Perseverance up here looking for life. This is what their mission is. Can we find any evidence of life up on Mars? And this has been going on since 2014 with curiosity. That's almost 10 years. And I found it back then. I, I alerted them to the life that's up there. Now this just came out a couple of minutes ago, literally uh, half an hour ago or so tops and I looked at it. it's only three minutes long they don't really show anything they're not seeing anything from where they are that makes much sense but I'll show you the ones from curiosity you can't miss it and here at uh, this is what they're saying out here they're looking for exciting places to hunt for evidence for past life well let me show you I was just closing this up I just getting ready to close up all of these old pic these pictures that I was showing <laughs> And this is up on Mars. This is the Mars crab. That is an artery. Here's the thing. They cannot get their head around the size of the creatures. I showed you this, and if you watched the last video, it just went up an hour ago. And these are all muscle sarcomeres. That's an artery and a vein, and it, you know, made all the blood come out to these. These are giant creatures, absolutely enormously giant. Same thing is here on Earth. And Petra is the same as this. I showed that as well. You see, these are muscle sarcomeres, and that supports the life with the blood. You have to have blood, a lot of blood, when you have muscles. All right, and here's the muscle sarcomeres, what they look like in uh, anatomical. I had them out here somewhere. Here it is. These pinch together, and they end up being like this, and that's how muscles contract. These are all bloody. These are bloody. That's bloody, and all of the bloody-looking stuff erodes away, and you get these cracks between straight up and down, and then all these tiny, tiny, tiny little slips, and that's exactly what I just showed you. Precisely. All right, that's exactly it right there. And this is a blow up of this up here. You can see that's the artery and the arteries have all these little blood vessels going in to service all of this muscle. And these, every bit of it needs blood. And when you're really doing exercise, you need a lot of blood real quick or you, you can't continue. You get cramps and all kinds of issues. Now, I just showed you what those sarcomeres are. These are the same sarcomeres right here. You see that? These are the same sarcomeres at Petra. We're talking about creatures that are just, there's nobody can get their mind around this. This is why NASA is so freaked out about this. I, I confronted them dozens of times and uh, they just don't want to get, you know, it's just too much, too much. These are all the sarcomeres, and that's a, a artery that had ran blood through all this area here and out here to service all this muscle. And this was the main feed, and they just made a, a treasury out of it, carved into it, literally into the blood. It's just nothing more than a gigantic blood clot. There's like a big blood clot coming out of there, and they just carved right into it. And inside of it is the connective tissue and all the rest. This is what's in there. This, this is some blood up here, connective tissue, you know, body tissue, whatever. And I showed this very clearly, and this is also up on Mars. Now, this is the Mars Morse code. Again, the size of the creatures is just staggering. This is pinched skin. This is pinched skin, stretched skin. This is normal skin. This is all stretched out, and the balls have eroded. They're called the Moki Marbles or the Mars, Mars Blueberries. And here they are. These are the Mars Blueberries. This is right for NASA. This is not me. And these are all over up there. They originally found them, and those are from the interstitium which is the same exact stuff as here on Earth. Where are you? It's around here somewhere. I thought it was. Hold on a second. Let me find it. All right, here it is right here. These are the Moki Marbles. This is here in Utah, Arizona. They're all over the place. Same exact, identical, no difference whatsoever at all to the ones that are up on Mars because they eroded out of a giant creature. Same thing. And this is a giant creature's body here. That's the skin. This is the flesh underneath with all the balls and the straps and everything. And that's all eroded because it's just weak as a 
water washes in, and all the balls, like here, just fell down here. And the rest is all mud. This is just mud, which is nothing more than this right here. This is like clay. And it turns into mud when it erodes. That's it. These are the, this is the same balls that are in the skin. They're so tiny, you need an electron microscope to see them, but here they're just laying all over the place. So we, you know, what we thought Mars was, it's, 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 it was the same exact identical as here on Earth. And it was killed by this slam here. Where is it? Oh, I lost that too. Here it is, right here. Mars, this is the crater, I mean this gouge that cut right across Mars when Venus smashed into it. And just, this is wider than the United States and extremely deep. And um, Mars, is, uh, Venus itself took, a, this is all electric discharge. This spins backwards. And it appears to me, this looks like electric discharge just destroyed Mars, absolutely destroyed it. Wiped out the atmosphere, killed all the creatures. And, um, and just before it hit Mars, it hit us. But just glancing blow. Mars, it was a dead-on smack. I mean, you can see that that's, that's pretty serious. On Earth, it hit our atmosphere and more or less bounced off our atmosphere, but at the same time, it caused all the oceans to, to go, and it literally stopped the Earth from spinning. The Earth is spinning this way. Venus is coming, coming backwards, and it, they interact, and, and at the same time, Venus just destroyed Earth with heat because it was so hot. And Venus right now is over 800 degrees. And it, it, when it did this, it also was illuminating like crazy. And it made the oceans boil and the waters boil and all the oceans went everywhere over the Earth and killed virtually everything. And it also stirred up a very deep silicon layer in the ocean and brought it to the surface. And that's what created all the silicon, which was a, preserved all the mud fossils. And that is something I also discovered. During my mud fossil discovery process, I, I learned all this stuff. You, you had to, I had to cover all my bases, and I did. And this is what muscles look like. And that's a muscle right there. That was a shoulder or whatever it was. It's a bone, and that anchors to this tendon, and the tendon anchors to the muscle. The bone is over here, not in the picture, but that's the tendon brown because it doesn't need any blood and there's where you need a lot of blood. You see all the blood coming down the surface now? It's identical to what's up on Mars. No difference whatsoever. Uh, and Jupiter gave birth to the feared, I mean the feared god Jupiter gave birth to Venus who did this work. Came down and destroyed all the giants, number one, working for God apparently, and number two, destroyed Mars, who was the god of war. <laughs> I'm telling you, this goes a lot deeper than people are thinking. This is serious stuff. This is no joke. No joke at all. And the mountains here on Earth, it's the same thing. that's a muscle. That's nothing more than muscle. And um, there were giants on the earth, exactly what Enoch said, identical to what Enoch said. He said they were miles and miles tall, yes. There was dragons, yes. Not a single culture on the face of the planet has a history that doesn't include dragons and giants, 100%. There's none that don't speak of those. And in terms of reality, they call it myth. Oh, they must have been just making up stuff. No, 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 no. These were. Th this was the reality of the day, and it, it's still. You can find them today. Very simple. I've shown Typhon. I've shown Quetzalcoatl, Scorpzilla, all of them. They're all over the planet. They're all everywhere. Literally everywhere. Myron Cook was just showing something the other day. A big washout running. Whoa, 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 whoa down. And all the dragon scales are just laying there. Missed everything. Talking about the, the guts of the center. How did this big pile of guts show up here? Which is, it was the center guts of this dragon. It was like a half a mile long, some organ. And it missed all of the dragon scales running down. It's just absolutely phenomenal that he missed that. And they, and they all those are flat irons. Let me show you what a flat iron is. 
Don't forget, this is, a, this is perseverance. This is NASA. They're blind as all the rest of them. They can't see in any kind of size. The things that were, that were there were just enormous. I showed you what's on Mars, and they still have the pictures of them. They didn't just throw those pictures away. The Mars Morse code, the Mars crab, and the Mars blueberries prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt, 100%. Now, let me show you what they're missing. The dragon scales are everywhere. <laughs> look at this. This is Myron Cook. He's a geologist. He's, he's looking at this saying, wow, look at this feature. Boy, is this really something. What about this? What about that? Oh, those are flat irons. That's naturally occurring. They have no explanation for that at all. This was a gigantic dragon that laid here and split wide open. This is part of his guts. That's a half a mile long. And they were, they're literally everywhere on the face of the planet, everywhere. And they call these flat irons. Say, oh, yeah, they're everywhere. Yes, they are, because the dragons were everywhere, too. Like I said, I just, I just did the video. I was just going to get down and take all these photos out because I use them all during the video, showing the Mars Morse code and the crab and the blueberries and the whole thing, and about Jupiter and Venus and all that. I just, just finished it. And I always show my, my hair follicle because it's easy to show and it shows a, gi a giant hair follicle. This is it right here. There's the erector pili muscle attaches right there. That makes your hair go up on end. There's the sebaceous gland right there. There's the shaft, the, hoop, the, the hair shaft coming up, and there's the root ball with the vein and the artery, the two little dots. That is at least two to three hundred times bigger than, than a human. Now, I don't know what kind of creature it was from, but there's no creature around today that has one this, this size. And it, we're talking about giants. They existed, and my other stuff is DNA tested in CAT scan. I have one that has a three foot long fingertip. And I figured that out to be about 160 feet tall, maybe a little more, which is not even tall. That's not even tall. That was a midget. I'm telling you, we got, we got to change everything the way we were thinking and stop this nonsense of being afraid to confront reality. I left a link up here. I mean, a comment up here. There's only four comments. And about, I studied the geo formations and Mars is littered with body parts. Go to Mud Fossil University. This is the evidence on YouTube. What could cause this geological formation and where is it? That's the video I was just showing you. I'd like comments on my video from NASA or anyone in this research, please. And I've never had anybody ever respond. Maybe you can go up here and, and comment as well and say, you know, please comment on Mud Fossil University's information and make sure you spell it right mud fossils all one word and my name is roger spur no d r o g e r spur with two r's and um just tell them let's let's talk about reality this is crazy you know how much money they've spent on this saying we're looking for something it's, it's literally billions and billions and billions and i mean into the very large number of billions of dollars to, and to walk around in circles and not to pay attention to something almost 10 years ago that proved there was life on Mars. What, you know, this is just superfluous. It's just extra. You know, that's fine. They can go up roam around all they want, but they have to pay attention to what they find in the reality of what they find, not just because it's too spectacular, too amazing, too incredible. Yes, it is all those things and more, much more. But it is what it is. It is not nothing. It is what it is. And these are muscle sarcomeres from a gigantic creature. In us, you can see that unless you had an micro, a, a electron microscope. And that is an artery. As I showed you I, on my other video, I, I can't remember how much I told you that during this video. I just got, when I saw it, I went crazy. I said, this is insane. They're still doing this. Every day, it's another thing. Wow, look what we did up on Mars. Oh, boy, we're just heroes up on Mars. No, they're not. They're not paying any attention whatsoever to the reality of what's there. Not whatsoever. To me, it's all about funding now and status and authority. Because to be able to, to, to just dismiss this, and I have been so vocal about this. I sent this to NASA, JPL, everybody I can think of, all the universities, everybody. Nobody seems to care. As long as the money keeps fun, keeps coming in and the funding doesn't dry up, I guess everybody's happy except the taxpayers. All right, I love you all. Happy New Year.